a seance has been held in the great house of Collinwood. A seance which has suspended time and space and sent one girl on an uncertain and frightening journey into the past, back to the year 1795. There, each of the Collins ancestors resembles a present-day member of the Collins family, but the names and relationships have changed, and Victoria Winters finds herself a stranger in a sea of familiar faces. As she is forced to witness the first moments of the Collins tragedy, that was to reach across the centuries. Oh, Barnabas! Oh, Where is Josette? Oh, I heard her voice. I called to I'm her. I'm here. I'm here. I called to her. Where is she? Barnabas! Josette. Josette. Where are you? Barnabas! Josette! Barnabas! Josette! I'm here. I am Josette. No. Josette is far away by now. Because I'm here. It's me. Don't you recognize me? Here. You mustn't be here. You must go away but from what, here. What's happened to you? Oh, soon I will die. No! Please. You must go away immediately. Barnabas. You don't know what... Danger hovers over you. You said there was a witch. Who is it? Tell me, I must know. Please, go away now. Just don't you understand? You're the one who is in danger. Tell me who this witch is. should not have disturbed him. I wish that he wasn't here, that he'd gone away. Darling, can you hear me? Mm. He must have rest. What happened to him? Then he is here. Oh, Natalie, he said he was dying. What, what are those marks on his neck? You should not be here, either of you. But he's obviously very ill. I know. Then why haven't you told us? Because I wanted to protect him. Protect him? You must leave at once, both of you, and you must not come back. What do you mean you wanted to protect him? Come away from the bed. I don't want him to hear. He can't be dying. I insist on knowing what's happened. There is only one thing that could have happened. That's why you must leave. He said something about witchcraft. Witchcraft? He was about to tell me more when his strength failed. You know there is no such thing as witchcraft. Look at him. Don't you know what it is? What it could be? Witchcraft. Something far worse, I'm afraid. What? The plague. The oh. plague? I'm certain that's what it is. It struck so suddenly. That's why I'm telling you, you're not safe here. You must go away, both of you, immediately. Well, what has the doctor said? Is, is he convinced that's what it is? No one else must see him, not even a doctor. The doctor hasn't been here. Oh, oh but that's... You're mad. A doctor should have been notified immediately. Oh, no, no, please. But I insist a doctor see him at once. Don't you understand? If it is the plague, what they will do to him? What will they do? They will send him away, alone, to die. But he must be seen by a doctor. No, please. I have some knowledge of medicine. This is no time for amateur remedies. But if it's the plague, the doctors will have no remedies. 
Oh, please, don't you see? If, it's, if he stays here, at least I will be able to take care of him. At least he will have a chance. Perhaps you're right. Of course I am right. Please. He is my husband. I am the only one who can help him now. But a doctor must be brought in. I insist upon it. But if he sends him away... Have you forgotten that I may have some influence? No one else must see him. No one else must know. I'm sorry, but this is clearly a matter of life and death. We cannot take a chance that he will die. I will go for a doctor myself. No, please. The doctor won't be able to do anything. He won't know what it is. How can you be so sure? I... Surely you can see that this is no common malady. Precisely why I'm going to find a doctor immediately. Rosette. Those terrible gashes. What could they be? It should not be of such concern to you. You forget. Barnabas was my friend. I am forgetting nothing. And I must insist that you leave here immediately. For your own protection, of course. I know it appears unseemly. But you must allow me to wait until I hear what the doctor has said. Your presence here can accomplish nothing. Surely you realize at a time like this, Barnabas wants to be alone with his wife. Yes, I can appreciate that completely. But you will forgive me if I wait in the drawing room until after the doctor has been here. Oh, you're only disturbing him. He must rest. Then I will be waiting in the drawing room. And if that offends you, Angelique, I must beg your forgiveness. You will beg more than forgiveness before I am finished with you. He's responsive to this, uh, the sedative I gave him. He's sleeping soundly. At, uh, right at the moment, anyway. And what are your conclusions, Doctor? Forgive me, Countess. But surely this is a matter that is between the Doctor and myself. In a little while, you will be grateful for my intrusion. Well, Doctor, what are your conclusions? I doubt that they can be considered conclusions. What do you mean? Frankly, I'm at a loss to explain fully his condition. How much can you explain? Only this much. Obviously, he's been bitten by a rodent. A rat, probably. Always a hazard in a port town. Oh, well, then that explains the, the gashes. Yes. I must add that the bites are extremely fierce, which could mean... What? Well, I must preface this with my own uncertainty. I don't care about your prefaces. I want the facts. Most likely the animal, or rat, or whatever, was crazed. What does that mean? That it had some horrible disease itself. The plague. That is my educated surmise. Oh, no. And now this disease has communicated itself to Barnabas. I'm afraid, Countess, that that is probably the case. Then I trust you will prescribe the proper remedies. Well, surely, Countess, you understand that much lies beyond the experience and, and education in my imperfect science. Then there is no known remedy? Remedy? The ailment itself is identifiable. But surely there's something. Very little. Very little. Precisely what does that mean? Josette, I thought you were to wait downstairs. I heard all of you talking, and I had to find out as soon as possible. I heard what you were saying, Doctor. Does that mean there's very little hope? I'd be dishonest to pretend that there is any hope at all. Oh! If anyone's dying. I refuse to believe that. The only direct action I can take is to see that he is removed immediately. To a hospital? Dear lady, you know better than that. Removed from this house, from this community. Doctor, I think. 
think it would be wise if you would leave him here in the care of Mrs. Collins and his family. Oh, with all respect, Countess, you know that's impossible. But you have not surely diagnosed the malady as the plague, sir. No, no, but the citizens should be warned. But you would create panic in the community on such slender evidence. Mr. Collins' condition cannot be defined as slender evidence. The situation is most grave. Before you begin to cry plague, you should have more evidence. This could be an isolated case, and it could remain isolated here at Collinwood. Well, I'm not sure that my ethics could allow such a risk. And what would happen to your reputation as a man of good and solid judgment? if you were to create havoc and terror in the town for no reason. Please, the Countess is right. And I can assure you, I would allow no one else near my husband. And he would be isolated here as well as he could be anywhere else. I am not inexperienced in the ways of medicine. All I ask is a little time. I agree with Mrs. Collins, and I am sure the entire Collins family will concur and be grateful for your cooperation. I acknowledge the uncertainty of my diagnosis. Surely banishment and probably death should be based on stronger evidence. You may be right. Time. We must have time, and he will be well again. Oh, I must warn against optimism. All I ask is, is, is that you say nothing to anyone at the, for the moment. And I repeat my gratitude. Well, the good of my client is gratitude enough, Countess. If he could get better care here, and, well, if my diagnosis is uncertain... Then you will say and do nothing? Not for the moment. Oh. If you'll excuse me. I would like to accompany you to the door. An honor, Countess. You have heard what the doctor has said. My husband should be as isolated as possible. Time. At least now we have time. We? Barnabas told me himself there was witchcraft here. He was almost able to name the witch. But surely you realize in his delirium... No, it was not delirium. But the doctor has just told... It does not matter what the doctor has said. I never believed it before now, but there is witchcraft here. Oh. And I think I know who the witch is. You do? Yes. Barnabas tried to, to warn me. To warn me of all this danger. Now I must do everything I can to protect him. And what do you intend to do? I would prefer not to go on with it now, but I shall return. And then I hope I will have the means to save him. No hope whatsoever? Yes. But we know better than that, don't we? I don't understand. Exactly what is it that you want? And I will do everything I can to make certain that you get it. What are you talking about? That I will do everything in my power to save Barnabas. Just tell me what I must do. I don't understand a word you're saying. Raise the spell. Allow him to live, I beg you. You think I'm a witch, don't you? If you can save Barnabas, perhaps I can save you. But how can I save him? Release him from your power. I have no power. Please, save him and yourself. How can I make you understand that I'm not a witch? Your denials are no longer necessary, only your help. Within an hour after his cure, you will be safely escorted out of Collinsport. I'll make arrangements somehow. You have my promise. But I can't help. Don't 
Don't you understand that? I can't help because I'm not a witch. I'm not. Please, Miss Winters. If you want to destroy someone, destroy me. Life is meaningless now. I have no hope. But there's nothing that I can do. But wait. There is something. Please, I beg you. He's dying. It's not for Mr. Cole. It's for you. I don't need the help. Barnabas must be saved. You must leave here. Go away at once. You're in terrible danger. Barnabas told me. I don't know if one can change the past. But you must go away from here now. Why? Because a, a terrible fate waits you here. What do you mean? A terrible death. And it will be soon. You are a witch. No, I'm not. And how could you say these things if you weren't? Oh, I'd, I'd explain, but you wouldn't believe me. But in my room, there's a book that I, I brought with me when I came here. It's the history of the Collins family. Could that, that do me? You must find it and read it. It tells what lies ahead. And perhaps by some miracle, knowing it will change it. This witchcraft. No. I'm only trying to help you. Please find it and read it. And leave Collinwood now. Listen well. You almost told Josette about me, didn't you? No. You don't need to deny it. That's not important. But what I'm about to say is extremely important. The Countess has told your family about your illness. Something terrible is happening to me. They will insist on seeing you. Yes. I must see them. I must talk to them. I must warn them. Warn Josette. No. No, that is what you must not do. That is what I want to tell you. I must save Josette. Her destruction is certain the moment she learns the truth about me. If you want to protect her, you must tell her nothing. Is that clear? She must be told nothing. One word, and Josette is doomed. Josette. Is that clear? Yes. Never tell her. I must never tell her. Anything to save her. Never tell her. Save her. Save her. Book has to be here someplace, or Miss Winters was lying to me. The story is so incredible. When I went, Miss Winters, I thought she was so unimaginative. But now this story of coming from another century. That's the 20th century. And that there's a book in this room which proves it. How could she tell me unless there is one? Natalie! Collins family in America. Well, we'll open it. Are you afraid? Look, 1965. That's when it was published. In Bangor, Maine. But Bangor's in Massachusetts. But it just arrived here from Paris last week. How could it? I, I don't know.
Suzette Dupre Collins, wife of Jeremiah Collins, born in Martinique. She has to be a witch. She has to be. Was born in Martinique, came to Collins Port in 1795, and... Well, what is it? Never do that. Never! Never do what? Died by her own hand. Winter of that same year. Seventeen. Ninety-five. 